so today I'm going to do another Will I Buy It? If you have not seen this series from me before, it is inspired by Samantha March's channel. She does Will I Buy It every Wednesdays and I just do it every couple Wednesdays I guess. Um, really for my channel I like to just talk to you guys about new products that I may be interested in. Either I will purchase them or I won't. This is more kind of like a chit chat kind of video talking to you guys about new products that are coming out. So everything in my Will I Buy It's are cruelty free. So let's just get started. It is a new year. There are a bunch of new stuff coming out for the spring. I pulled a couple of things from Trend Moods Instagram that were kind of interesting and appealing to me and we'll kind of go through my thoughts on them. So the first thing is this new eyeshadow palette. So I will have it up somewhere but um, this is the 24G eyeshadow palette and I don't really like, let's just put it off this way, I don't really like that they call it like the eyeshadow palettes like double zero or O3 or mega three or all this kind of weird like numbers and letters just like name it something like Too Faced names their palette or Urban Decay names their palette. Why does Morphe have to be so generic? And then looking at this you get 24 shadows and it is for $29. I really like the price point for Morphe eyeshadows and but really this eyeshadow palette just kind of looks the same. It looks boring. It looks very neutral. I mean it's perfect if you need a neutral eye palette but I feel like a lot of the Morphe palettes all kind of look the same. I've never really used Morphe palettes in the past. I just redeemed a couple of weeks ago and redeemed my Ulta points for the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I heard a lot of people raving about this. And what I like most about this palette is you get those warm tones, but you also get a couple... I get, let me look. You get those warm tones, but you also get a couple of cool tones as well. But if you really just kind of get rid of this whole side, that looks just like that new eyeshadow palette that Morphe is coming out with. So I am not going to be buying that. I think that is a waste of money. Um, unless you don't have like a Morphe palette already, that may be good for you, but it looks very similar to all their other Morphe palettes. So for this Morphe palette to be $29 and very similar to their other eyeshadow palettes, this is something I'm definitely going to skip. But if you are interested, it is available January 16th. Moving on is a eyeshadow palette from The Balm. It is called the Meat Match Maker. Meat Match Maker, I guess. Um, this is a new addition to their matte eyeshadow line. It kind of just looks not appealing to me. The eyeshadow swatches look a lot prettier to me than the actual pan and palette itself. Honestly, I think there's a lot of packaging for this eyeshadow palette that is not necessary for just getting to like little duos. Um, this is $29.50, half mattes, half shimmers. I just, I don't know, that green does look gorgeous and that purple kind of, what's it called, Lisa Campbell kind of looks pretty as well. But honestly, this isn't something that is catching my eye or getting my attention. I have so many other eyeshadow palettes in my collection and none of these eyeshadows really stand out as, oh my gosh, I really want it. So this is definitely a pass for me as well. Then there is a, another new Too Faced eyeshadow palette. This is the White Peach palette. Now, I don't know if you guys see this picture, but it looks very similar to me to the White Chocolate Chip palette, but they did add like a black in that peach passion, which is like a black purple shimmer glitter kind of shade in the bottom corner. I don't know. This isn't something I think I'm going to run out and get. It is $45, 12 shimmery and matte shades. Um, it probably, if it performs well, would be a gorgeous palette for a lot of colors that would be good for like all over the lid. But I'm just not gravitating towards this at all. It's just, I don't know. It looks very similar to the packaging of the matte peach palette or just peachy matte or whatever that one is. I didn't pick that up either but these are just very nice like light neutral kind of tones with that black and purple shimmer kind of thrown in there. Um, not something I'm gonna get but if it does have really good performance quality I may be interested in it but I just like I said have so many other eyeshadow palettes it's just this is not calling my name. Um, that eyeshadow palette too is available online January 11th and then 
It'll be online at Sephora January 16th. So look out for that if you guys are interested. I'm actually surprised that I haven't seen this promoted earlier. Like normally you Too Faced like promotes their stuff really early. Do you guys remember they pr promoted like a long time ago the collab that they were doing I say doing with Britney Spears what happened to that I would be really interested I love me some Britney Spears but yeah I don't know we'll see but yeah this white peach palette is a no for me then there is a new Sephora favorites kit and this has definitely caught my attention it's $28 the value of this box is $100 um, it is available now for early access so if you're a VIB Rouge member you can pick this up now and it is the selfie kit and it's only $28 so not too bad um, what you get in this you get a Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Ashton a Beverly I mean Becca shimmering skin perfecter pressed in the shade opal Marc Jacobs velvet noir major volume mascara in black or no noir a milk makeup blur stick a stellar beauty official cosmetic face powder glow uh, Tarte Cosmetics Tartiste Double Take Eyeliner, and that is about it. So what I like most about it is a lot of these products are cruelty-free items. And you that's really hard to find in a Sephora favorite set from Sephora. Normally they have a majority of items that are not cruelty-free, but this one for the most part is cruelty-free. For me, however, I will not be purchasing this. I really love my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed. So basically, I'm pretty sure you're probably going to get like the same size. Where is mine? Same size as this like little deluxe sample that you can get with their liquid. So you'll be getting basically this and then like some other things. They're just a bunch of items I've already tried or I'm really not interested in trying to be completely honest. Um, I am interested in trying the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Ashton. But for the price of that, for the size, I'm not interested. I'd rather purchase like their mini liquid lipstick set of like their trio or whatever that would be more interesting to me than picking this whole thing up the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara I've tried it I'm really not that big of a fan of it I know everyone's obsessing here on YouTube I'm just not that big of a fan of it so it's not worth it for me Milk Makeup Blur Stick I don't know I just the Milk Makeup line isn't something that's calling my name right now Stellar Beauty, not that interested, and the Double Take Eyeliner from Tarte. I'm just not an eyeliner kind of person. I'd rather do like a liquid eyeliner. So this box really isn't that interesting, but if these products do sound like something you may be interested in, this is a great box to check out because, again, it is cruelty-free and has some good products in it. Then, guys, we have what I'm most excited for to talk about. This is New Stila Glitter and Glow Highlighters. So these are... I have the magnificent, what are they called? Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. These are highlighters, supposedly. So I guess you apply them to your your face and not your eyes. It says pearlescent pigments and fine milled glitter serum as a base. The same as the glitter and glow shadow, but friendlier for your face. So it's not gonna have as much glitter with it as like the magnificent glitters do, but it'll give you kind of that iridescent shine. So I am kind of interested in these. These are $30 each. So honestly, I'll probably maybe pick up one or if they have a small little set, that would be fun as well. Um, these shades are from left to right or wherever you're looking at this. You have Painted Hey Lady, the rose gold hue with the golden flex. Admiral or Admiral, mint green with blue and purple shift. Monarch, iridescent pink with green, pink, and silver shimmer. Queen Lilac with pink and purple glitter and Kitten Champagne with gold and silver glitter. These are available spring 2018. No like exact release date yet. But I'm very interested in these. I kind of want to try the Queen, the Lilac with pink and purple glitter. Or I want to, weirdly enough, try Admiral the Mint Green with the blue and purple shift. I don't know. I definitely would need to swatch these in store before picking it up. This isn't something I'm going to run and buy online once it launches, but it's definitely something fun and new, and I really love my Stila Magnificent glitters, so applying something comparable, I guess, to your cheeks may be interesting. So we will see what happens with this one. 
Then Anastasia Beverly Hills has a new kind of lipstick set of four shades for $21. These shades look gorgeous. Everyday wearable colors, Spice, Soft Pink, Kiss, and Dead Rose. Oh my gosh, I love them. Uh, the only like liquid lipstick, I mean lipstick I have is more of like a wintry fall color. These definitely look, I like, I could wear them every day, all day. And like I said, they're $21, but they are mini matte lipsticks, which are good because you won't use it up. Most people do not use up lip products all that often, but mini lipsticks are really good to have in your purse. You can lose them, however, but this is definitely something I am interested in. Then there is a new eyeliner from Kat Von D. This is the Basket Case Eyeliner. It says it's limited edition, black anti-precision eye pencil inspired by Billy Joe Armstrong, um, which I think was in a band, and it is about $19. It says it's a retractable oversized eyeliner with built-in sharpener, long wear, high pigment, and smudge smudgeable formula. So what I don't like about this to just kind of start off with is that it's limited edition. I don't like that it's limited edition. I get that it was inspired by her friend, but for an eyeliner to be limited edition, it's not calling me to buy real fast, if that makes sense. Um, like an eyeshadow palette that's limited edition is prettier to look at and a highlighter and would like draw me in, but an eyeliner, not so much, especially a pencil eyeliner. I'm just not a fan of pencil eyeliners in general, so this isn't something that I would run out to get. My thing too is if this eyeliner was amazing and this was the really black eyeliner she was promoting and kind of sneak peeking earlier on, then why wouldn't she make it permanent? You know, so I'm not, I'm not drawn towards it. I kind of, I'll be interested to see people's reviews, but it's not something I'm going to get. So those are all the items I have to share with you guys today for my Will I Buy It. Um, a lot of these are definitely some nice, interesting things. But some of these I'm just really not all that interested in. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys are interested in any of these items or not interested. For me, most of these are not interested in them, except for the Stila and the Anastasia lipsticks. So let me know again down below, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.